Hello guys, today I want to talk about unit tests in Laravel and the difference between feature and unit tests and specifically about the classes that Laravel extends for different feature and unit tests. And I already talked about that in a few videos previously in pretty recent one when refactoring to service to unit test with TDD, but I didn't emphasize enough this part. Extends test case, it's a unit test here and a feature test also extends test case, but those test case are actually different. How different? Let me explain. So when you run just generally PHP Artisan make test, for example, apartment show test, it is considered as feature test and extends test case, which is from Laravel tests test case. What that is? It creates Laravel application, allows you to set up something, and then it extends base test case. What is best test case? It's in Laravel core in Illuminate Foundation. And that test case does a lot of things like makes HTTP requests, interacts with console, and it allows you to do a lot of things for feature tests like do this get from JSON from API, interact with database like this, interact with session, time, views, and others. Basically, you have full Laravel application running in your test suite, so you can do something like for example, something like this, get JSON and assert the response. So this comes from Laravel, not from PHP unit. So Laravel feature tests are kind of on top of PHP unit. So if we go back to that abstract test case from Laravel Illuminate, it extends PHP unit framework test case under the hood. So it's a layer on top Laravel application. But if you want to run unit tests, which means just test specific unit specific method specific class without running full Laravel application with the database, which is exactly what I did in one of my previous videos to test just the pricing with pricing service. So in this case, this test does not need to know anything about database, about JSON, about API request or anything. It just tests the service and therefore it extends directly PHP unit test case. So what is extended under a few layers of Laravel in testing test case here in unit test, if you do PHP artisan make test with dash dash unit, this is extended directly here without any additional layers. And what does it mean in practice? Two things, unit tests are faster because they don't load the full Laravel application. Let me demonstrate the difference. So if we run the test, the feature test of apartment show loads something, it takes 0.40 seconds. Let's try again just to make sure 0.27. Okay, a bit faster. But if we run the test for testing pricing, the unit test, see the difference 0.04. Again, 0.02 even faster. So it's much faster. So that's one practical difference and maybe if you care about the speed of your test suite, maybe you should refactor something into unit test as much as possible. But also, on the other hand, you cannot use in unit tests things like database. So if you try to in your test do something like this, get JSON, it doesn't know about get JSON because it's a Laravel feature. Also, for example, if you try to use factory in unit test in any of your test method, let's try to do that import the model, it has a factory, so it would create a record. But if we run that test, it would throw an error, the error connection on null, which means the unit test does not know anything about the database connections, factories or anything around Laravel. It's just for creating a specific unit. So with that in mind, I hope it makes it a bit clearer to you which one to use in which case. The shortest version, if you need to interact with database or make HTTP requests, then it's a feature test. Sometimes the line is pretty blurred and you can kind of force unit tests to use some Laravel features, but you have to be really careful with that, to be honest. What tests do you personally write, feature or unit? And have you ever refactored from feature to unit and why? And if you don't know how to do that, I will link in the description below the previous video, which I mentioned already creating unit tests from feature test. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.